Okay, in this first video on fluid mechanics, we will be talking about the concept of pressure. Well, pressure is defined as the force per perpendicular area. So it's a scalar quantity, so it's the magnitude of the force divided by the area uh, the, that is perpendicular to it. And the SI unit is uh, newtons per meter square, which is pascals. So one pascal, one PA, is one newton per meter square. And when does the pressure arise? For example, if you have an object that is immersed in a static fluid, uh, th this object will feel forces from all of its sides. So if this is a cubic object, for example, you can say that the force per perpendicular area would be, so the perpendicular area would be the uh, sides of this uh, cube, so side areas of the cube. Uh, any point on the surface of the object, uh, at any point, the force exerted by the fluid will be perpendicular to the surface of the object, so it will feel a uh, pressure. So, uh, the, for when this object is immersed in a static fluid, it's subject to forces perpendicular to its surfaces, and the force per unit perpendicular area is our pressure. Okay. Now it's possible that the pressure will vary over an area. So you don't need to have a uniform force applied perpendicular to this area. You may have this force varying over the area. In that case, we have the infinitesimal version of this. Uh, the pressure will be equal to df dA. So this will be again our perpendicular area. So um, even if it varies over the surface area of the uh, object, it, it's going to be approximately a constant for an infinitesimal area. So in that case, pressure will be df dA and it will be varying over the area. So pressure will be a function of position. Okay, let's look at an example, the water bed. The mattress of a water bed is 2 meters long by 2 meters wide and 30 centimeters deep. Okay, so let me uh, note this. The length is 2 meters. The width is uh, 2 meters. The depth, D, is... 30.0 centimeters. So the first task, find the weight of the water in the mattress. Uh, and we know the density of water is uh, one gram per centimeter cube. So if I work with this density, which is not in SI units yet, so one grams per centimeter cube uh, will be equal to uh, 1 times 10 to minus 3 kilograms uh, per uh, 10 to 6. Uh, so 1 gram is basically 10 to minus 3 kilograms and 1 meter is 100 uh, centimeter. So centimeter is uh, 10 to minus 2. So this is going to be 10 to minus 6 uh, and that will be in kilograms per meter cube so we will see that this will turn into 1 times 10 to 3 kilograms per meter cube okay so 1 gram is 10 to minus 3 kilograms 1 centimeter is 10 to minus 2 meters centimeter cube is 10 to minus 6 Okay, so we obtained the density of water in SI units. What is the volume volume of this uh, mattress? Volume V is the product of length, uh, the width, and the depth. Now, length and width are in SI units, 2 meters, but the depth is in centimeters, so it's 30, 10 to minus 2 meters. So this gives us a volume of 1.2 meter cube. 
Now, since we know the density of water, what is the mass of the water? It will be the density multiplied by the volume, or the density is mass per volume. So this will be 1.2 multiplied with uh, 10 to 3. So this will give us 1.2 times 10 to 3 kilograms for the mass of the water. Now, what is the weight of the water in the mattress? Well, the weight is mass of the water multiplied by gravitational acceleration g. So this will be 1.2 times 10 to 3 times 9.8 meters per second square. So we will find that the weight of the water will be 1.18 times 10 to 4 newtons. 10 to 4 newtons. Okay. So this will be our final answer for the weight of the water. All right. So um, let's put this into a box. All right, now we can work on part B. What is part B? Find the pressure exerted by the water bed on the floor when the bed rests in its normal position. Assume the entire lower surface of the bed makes contact with the floor. So then what is the perpendicular area we see with the bottom floor? It will be the length multiplied with the width, W, so it will be 2 times 2, 4 meter square. And we have a pressure that is force divided by perpendicular area, um, which is equal to, uh, the force is our weight here. So it's 1.18 times 10 to 4 divided by 4 meters meter square and this will give us a pressure of 2.0 2.95 times 10 to 3 pascals so uh, this is our SI unit that is a uh, Pascals, so we're going to get the answer in Pascals. Okay, now as I said, uh, pressure can vary uh, with distance uh, uh, over the surface, so actually, it has a variation with depth inside the fluid. So, if we consider an incompressible uh, liquid, for example, uh, incompressible means it has a uniform density. So we have the same uh, type of liquid everywhere. It has a uniform uh, density. We can uh, concentrate on a parcel of fluid that is in equilibrium. So basically you can think of an imaginary box here. There is no object, but imaginary box. Uh, and we have on top a pressure uh, P0, so uh, if this is our uh, y-axis that is uh, going up, so this is our y-axis, all right, uh, then we see that we have a force minus P0aj hat that is being applied on the top surface of this imaginary parcel. Uh, and then we have Paj hat that is being applied from the bottom of the liquid. 
And this parcel has a weight uh, mg, so that is pointing down, so it's in minus mg, j hat direction. And let's say that I have taken this parcel a distance d from the top surface of the uh, liquid, and the total, uh, the height of the parcel is h, so this is basically the bottom surface location at d plus h with respect to the top. And the perpendicular area is a. Now, <clears throat> what is the mass of the liquid in the parcel? It is the density uh, of the liquid multiplied by the volume, imaginary parcel, so we don't have anything else here, it's the liquid. So it's the density of the liquid multiplied by the volume. Uh, and if we have a perpendicular area A here, the volume is A times H, the height of this uh, parcel. And what is the weight of the liquid in the parcel? It's mg. Now, the mass of the liquid that is inside the parcel was rho ah, so it's rho ah times g. And we have this parcel in equilibrium. So if we write the net force acting on it, we have paj hat that comes from the bottom, uh, minus p0aj hat that comes from the top, and minus mgj hat, uh, that is the weight of the parcel. So this weight should be equal to zero because we have equilibrium. So we see that the a, a PAJ hat minus rho AH, that is the mass multiplied by GJ hat, minus P0AJ hat is equal to zero. The areas disappear and the pressure appears to be a function of depth. Uh, so it's a function of H, which is P0 plus rho GH. So you can see that when H is equal to 0, the pressure is P0 at the top surface. When H is, uh, when H, uh, is uh, present, then we will have P0 plus rho GH. That will be the pressure at the bottom surface. Okay, so the pressure at the depth H below a point in the liquid at which the pressure is P0 is greater by an amount rho GH. So as I go down in the liquid, uh, with the distance I travel from the top surface, the pressure is increasing. It will be uh, P0 plus rho GH. And if the surface is open to air, the surface pressure, so if this is our surface here, uh, can be atmospheric pressure, P0. And atmospheric pressure has a value, one atmosphere is equal to 1.01, 10 to 5 Pascal. So this is an important number uh, to know here. Atmospheric pressure, one atmosphere is 1.013, 10 to 5 Pascals. Okay, so we have uh, defined pressure as the force per perpendicular area, a scalar quantity which is measured in Pascals or Newtons per meter square. And when the pressure varies over a surface, pressure is df dA perpendicular. And it will be felt by any object inside the liquid. All the surfaces will feel forces perpendicular to its uh, surface area. And we talked about an example for the water bath, a mattress of water uh, bath. Uh, we can calculate its weight by multiplying with density the volume of the water bed and uh, so that gives us our mass so mass times the gravitational acceleration is the weight and the weight per perpendicular area will be the force per perpendicular area that is the pressure that we see at the bottom surface of the bed assuming that the entire lower surface of the bed makes contact with the floor so we don't have anything any spacer in between and if we think about the variation of pressure with depth inside the liquid, uh, we can figure out how this works by considering an imaginary parcel that is filled with this uh, liquid that is in equilibrium. And this analysis shows us that the pressure as we go from the top surface to the bottom is increasing with distance from the top surface. Uh, and if we call the pressure at the top surface of this imaginary parcel uh, P0, then the pressure at the bottom surface becomes P0 plus rho GH. If we call the pressure at the top uh, surface of the liquid 
uh, atmospheric pressure if this is open to air uh, air so we will see that atmospheric pressure plus rho g d plus h would be the pressure at the bottom surface of this imaginary parcel so uh, atmospheric pressure is measured in units of atmospheres and one atmosphere is 1.013 10 to 5 pascals